Well, our top story, the Chinese telecommunication giant Huawei is facing the heat globally. After the arrest of its CFO in Canada last month, Huawei has found itself under extreme scrutiny, especially for its 5G network. Now, America's mounting further pressure. Reports suggest that the Donald Trump administration is pressurizing American allies to bar Huawei and other Chinese technology companies from building their 5G infrastructure. The U.S. is reportedly asking its allies to ban Huawei from building the next generation computer and phone networks. The U.K., Poland and Germany have been asked by the United States to bar China-based companies from building 5G networks. Huawei is under mounting international pressure about the security of its technology even though there is no proof Huawei is under scrutiny for allegedly using its equipment to provide backdoor access for the Chinese government. Since 2012 Huawei has been barred from selling equipment in the U.S. because of security concerns by the U.S. government. China has responded to these reports and urged the United States to stop what they call irrational behavior. Beijing has urged Washington not to hamper the progress that is being made by the two countries after the trade war. We and China has accused the United States of orchestrating Huawei CFO's arrest in Canada. Uh, it continued to maintain the narrative and urged Canada to take the right decision on Meng Wanzhou's case. 你提到的这件事情是甲方的内部事务立即释放孟晚舟女士早日让她平安地回到中国 And Patrick Falk is joining us live now from Hong Kong for the very latest on this and now Patrick well the nervousness about Chinese technology has long existed in the US but is this a fear of cyber warfare or a fear of economic dominance of this of the telecom space Uh, in Beijing, in fact. Uh, but I think to answer your question, I think it's very clear that it's a little bit of both. And uh, to answer exactly why, you have to understand uh, the capacity of 5G and the importance of it. And uh, controlling 5G networks really means having control of an entire ecosystem. It's been described uh, by one analyst, at least, as being almost as important as electricity and the fears are in the US that if uh, China dominates 5G networks then it will uh, have control of an entire uh, ecosystem, an entire nervous uh, system uh, and as we know that is going to be critical in an age where it will have control of uh, all data transfer and transfer of information and we know already that uh, Donald Trump has made it clear that uh, he sees it as being a little bit of both and the two are very closely tied together uh, so on one hand he wants to balance trade and uh, dominate uh, or for the US at least uh, leads the world economically but this is also in his view uh, about uh, putting a a check on China's military power and this isn't lost on uh, China either only uh, about a week ago we learned from reports that uh, China for the first time has uh, its uh, its uh, land power its army effectively is no longer uh, more than half the size of its overall uh, security forces and so that it's uh, uh, that it's uh, that it's cyber uh, security plays a much more prominent uh, part of its uh, national defenses than ever before uh, the question is whether or not what the U.S. is doing is right and fair. Right.
Right. And Patrick, then that, of course, brings us to the second question. And the U.S. is known to push other nations as well. And are they going to follow suit and risk while inflaming China, which could hamper their own access to the growing Chinese market and deprive them of cheaper Huawei products as well? Well, it's very difficult to see or say how China is going to react exactly, but certainly China uh, appears to think that it is being unfairly treated at the moment. And uh, as we know from the reports, no smoking gun has been found so far. The U.S., as, we, as you mentioned, has uh, long had concerns that uh, Huawei is being used to spy on its citizens through uh, backdoor technology on, on its chips. But uh, that has never been... Uh, proven beyond any shadow of doubt and uh, the only uh, suggestion that there has been any link so far between Huawei and the government is that this uh, Huawei executive that was arrested in Poland and uh, even Huawei uh, distanced it itself from the executive and let him go very shortly after uh, his arrest in Poland. Uh, so. Yes, indeed, many countries, particularly in Europe, they're being put in a difficult position of having to uh, choose between the two. Well, US lawmaker Kamala Harris officially launched her 2020 White House campaign with attacks on President Donald Trump's policies at a rally in her hometown of Oakland in California. During the launch of her presidential campaign, she promised to be a fighter for the people in her speech. She made several pointed attacks uh, at Donald Trump. She attacked the Trump administration's separation of thousands of immigrant children from their parents at the southern border last year. When white supremacists march and murder in Charlottesville or massacre innocent worshippers in a Pittsburgh synagogue, that's not our America. When we have children in cages crying for their mothers and fathers, don't you dare call that border security. That's a human rights abuse. And that's not our America. Now, Islam, President Trump saying that American democracy was under attack like never before. Listen in. We are here because the American dream and our American democracy are under attack and on the line like never before. And let's speak truth. Under this administration, America's position in the world has never been weaker. Kamala Harris has been a fierce critic of the U.S. president and has time and again questioned Trump's leadership abilities. For many, she represents the perfect anti-Trump candidate, progressive and a representative of America's diverse culture. Her announcement has renewed hope in the African-American and Indian-American communities in the U.S.